Fred, we need some luck. Bring the catfish. We ain't, well, the boat. we ain't been catching enough flatheads, have we? No, so we bring Fred. That's going to change our luck right there. Chad's got his buddy Fred with him. Got my Crocs on, too. He, he's convinced that Fred's lucky, so... So he's got his lucky Crocs on. His Crocs ain't been bringing too much luck. No, he's been catching they, fish, they, but these are my camouflage. I ain't been wearing them. I've been wearing my black. Ones, so oh, I'm that's a different camo. different Crocs. Yeah, the lucky Crocs and lucky Fred. That's gonna bring us some flatheads today, huh? right there when it hits that that's why we use nylon rope that nylon rope's more sensitive and I can feel feel that drag hit that rope quarter inch nylon that's what I use and there's our headline try to do a little bit more explaining you want me to get this one Chad yeah go ahead I'll do this you got a nylon drag rope and this is poly on the front on the headline that poly rope is kind of buoyant it helps that float up a little bit keeps it up off bottom and it makes it to where that uh, them hooks on that drag will catch that rope better A little dirty net. I'm sure it's full of goo. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Maybe two. A uh, good one. One good flathead in there. Get all that dirt out of it. That'll work. Nice blue catch. We like to catch big ones. That right there is a perfect eater. About seven or eight pounds right there. That one's perfect. That one's even better. Whoop. These nets are really starting to dirty up on us. Like this one right here, it's just gotten nasty. It's been in here a month and a half. It's about time to take it to the house and clean it out good. I'm gonna try to get most of that dirt off of it. They just won't catch if you don't keep them clean, so it's a constant battle. You watching for the creepy crawlies, huh? Oh, Ain't nothing wrong with my knot. Oh, he's complaining about my knots. Golly, boy. I'd have done had it untied. I don't see the big deal. Did you put the dang thing on here? Net number two, see what we got coming up. Yeah, they, there's a couple of them in there. We got one nice flat head in there. It's pretty, pretty good one. Not bad. That's two nets. We got three ops and a blue. Thought you said Fred was gonna bring us some luck. I throw Fred in the water. Uh, we can't do that. I've killed three elk with Fred in my backpack. So that's a no-go there. We'll give him give him another shot right up here. Alright. Number three. Let's see what big boys got up here. We'll need some fish. Fred got tightened up. Put him back here in the captain's seat out of the way. No. Some current coming down through here. That's at the bridle of it right there. Now you got something to grab.
still got some heavy current. It ain't quite as bad as it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, it was just brutal. What are you huffing and puffing for? <laughs> yeah. Sure are taking you a while to get to the bottom of this. I'm feeling. I feel them. You feel them? Said he's feeling for them. He feels them. I don't even see nothing. Big blue. Big old blue. Woo. Big old blue. Several blues. You gonna make it? You need some help. Woo, that's a big old blue. Goodness. Three big old blues. That's the biggest blue we've caught this year. Yeah. Keep him that little blue. What I say? Yeah. There. No, I meant keep that one. That's the one we want to keep. Throw him in here. What about that one? He's all right, ain't he? Yeah. Throw that other blue back. Unless you want him. All right, let's hold him up and get a picture of him. <laughs> he ain't letting me get in there. Gonna have to get both of them. Hold him up there. He's about to come out. Hold him up there. <laughs> I think he just killed him. Hold, hold him up. You gotta give him both hands. Little catfish curls. <laughs> That's 25 pounder there. Turn him sideways where we can see. That's a big blue. That's the biggest blue. Stretch his tail out and get a... He's chomping my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> big blue. Heavy current. I'm going up even with the net and then dragging in. On this steeper bank. This is a steeper bank. I can feel my drag on bottom right there coming up that steep bank. Dragging in. This is the first try. Show you how well that works. Now it's on a steep bank. The other bank it really don't matter, but on a steep bank. Start out and drag in toward the bank. Catch that. Caught it on the first, first try. Like I said, if it's a lot of current on a steep bank, you're gonna wanna go up even with the net, throw your drag in outside of it, and drag in. And we got 50 foot of rope, so that drag hit about 10 foot from the end of that rope. So that current carried that drag back about 40 foot. A lot of people think they lost their net, can't find it, can't get it to drag up because they're dragging for the headline. And every time they throw their drag in, it's swinging around below the, the headline or their headline's stuck to the bottom and they're, they're skipping over the top of it. So that should make it a little bit easier. It's getting where it ain't. Ain't as much fun in this heat. Figure we got one or two more raises before we pull these nets up in the river. That's some good fish in there. Yes, sir. Good op. Hey, good op. That's got fish in it. What a big blue. Good off. Ah. There she is. Good one right there.
gonna throw some blue in his back. Let them go have some babies. Whew. That's a load. Put me on them, big boy. Let's go. Pull it up, see what she's got. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. Got one hung up. Pull on a little bit, see if it comes loose. Come here right there. Gotta catch the tail in. See if we can pull it up that way. Alright. That's why you don't fish a river by yourself. It's all fun and games till this happens. We've had a treetop come down in. I drug this set out and dropped this net in here. Had a treetop drift down in on top of this net. We tried to drag up above it, and now we got the net drag hung up. All right, catch it up. We need to get it up here to the front of the boat and tie off as much slack as possible. Don't let it come over the side of that boat. You got it? You gotta pull it out of the hole. You got it? Hold what you got. Probably the drag, the rope. What will break? May have had in the uh, in the net, and it just broke free from the net, the webbing. I know I don't about pulled on it all I can pull on it. I mean, I drug all this out. Wasn't nothing in there. I don't get it. It's the only thing I can figure is it drifted down on top of it. Let off of it, Chad. Neutral. Neutral. You got it? All right, we think we got it. Broke loose out of that treetop. That was a bad one. Probably the worst hang I've ever been in on, and I drug this out before I put this net in here. But evidently our head rope was hung because we got to pulling on it and it finally come loose. Just hoping our net ain't all tore up. Up. Four, Chad. All right, hold it. Hold it. All right, give some go juice. A little bit, not don't get crazy with it, just yeah, there you go. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, don't let up. Don't let up, something give. Alright, hold it. Let me die. 
Them hip. Turn loose. Turn loose. Go get on that gas. <clears throat> yeah, we ripped a hole in the net a while ago. That's where our fish went. I'm going to Mill River with it. The way it don't hang. See where it straightened that barb? Straighten my back, too. Hey, if that's the kind of trouble Fred's going to cause us, he ain't coming back. I don't know if y'all can tell by looking at me or not, but I didn't give out after that. We had that net hung up. That's the worst net I've had hung up in the 28 years I've been running hoop nets. But, you know, we said we'd keep it real and give a little bit of footage of what's going on with that net hung up. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get it up. We tied it off the front of the boat and pulled on it pretty hard. But when I get to pulling real hard like it, I make sure, you know, I got my kill switch and all that on. So if something did happen, at least it killed the motor. That's why you wear your life jackets down here. That's why you bring somebody with you, you know. Fishing these river systems, at any time a log can come down on top of your net. And that's exactly what happened to us. I drug that set out good, made sure what nothing in there. Put that net in and, and I mean, something come down on top of it hard and it just wouldn't give. I guess it was a big treetop. We managed to get the net out, tore five or six mash hole in it, in the very tail of it. it. Won't be that bad of a patch job to fix that one. So we're just taking it to the house. And man, after that, I don't know. This wasn't the highlight of the year. We caught some nice fish today, but it definitely wasn't the highlight of the year. But that's, that's keeping it real, and that's what you gotta deal with sometimes. Just be careful when something like that happens. We did catch a nice mess of fish today. Sometimes you just got a little adversity and we had it today. I'm gonna let Chad have these fish. He can dress them tomorrow. We'll ice them down tonight. That's gonna be it for this one. God's country hunting fishing, keeping it real.